Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes 3 and 4 of BNA. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. biggest thing is that I'm hoping that we get to see a fucking giraffe in the show. <laughs> How is it gonna look? Is it, like, cause we know they're gonna be tall. But. <laughs> you mean just a regular tall person? And then they change. <laughs> he got a long ass thing. <laughs> Give me that, please. I want that so much. <laughs> Are you telling me nobody heard that shit? Okay. Oh? So can we just say, like, Michiru is freaking Akko's and what's-her-face's kid? <laughs> so you- it just happens like that? What? I thought the wiki help. But that's not fair. She needs food, and I mean, you're gonna bring her food, but still, she needs to get out. <laughs> Shadow, what the fuck? Mm 
Of course. You know who he reminds me of? And it's about, it, like, the second half of the show is about to start in April. Um, I don't remember his name, but, uh, dude from No Guns Life, that's who he gets me feels from. Yeah, and I don't even think it is a disease. Yeah, but then, okay, let's say you do get cured and you're able to go back home. You want to see, I mean, you see what people have done to you almost. They must want to kill you. And you want to go back to that? Yeah. I don't need people having World War Three on this bitch. Holy shit, there's like, mm -mm. how the hell are you going to get all those bombs and then deactivate them too? Me too, dude.
fine. Come here, Cody. What's wrong? Cody! Oh, oh. Honey! Sir! Oh, what are they down? Sir! No, let her go with you. She's already here. So then how- Oh, y'all about to get killed. Oh, fuck. He is fine, but he is a bad guy. Mmm.
so that I wouldn't be tracing them. Of course, it wasn't going to go down easy. I mean, you could have just gone easily and you wouldn't have to deal with this, but... That's more dark than the damn deer shit. Plus, if you kill him, she's not going to find the truth. Good puppy. <laughs> you really didn't think that through me to do. You should be dead, honestly. I'm sorry. <laughs> See? Hard-headed. Hard-headed. Mother effer. Oh my god. <laughs> See?
Mm. <laughs> I have no more feeling. is it that the hot guy gotta be bad? I mean, Jesus Christ. This is now the second trigger series where the hot guy is just bad because last week I finally watched Promare and it and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, he cute but I bet you he a bad guy and then almost to the end of the film. What do we find out? <laughs> uh, okay, so the fact is that those two doctors have something to do with Michiru being a tanuki, there's still information on that computer, so hopefully, maybe the mayor, like, does a little background on it, possibly. I don't know, but, like, there's gonna be an episode where Michiru and Shiru, they're going to have to visit them in jail and to know the truth about her. But the biggest thing is I do want to know right now, what in the world happened to her friend? Her friend turns into a beastman, and then she just gets taken away. And presumably, like, never to be seen again. It's kind of like how um, in S.H.I.E.L.D. Hero, when um, Raptalia and her friends got taken away, and then eventually um, the girl who she was really close to, she ends up dying. So it's a possibility her friend, the, the girl who looks like Susie with pink hair, basically, is maybe dead. I'm not 100% sure, but, like, right now I'm, like, 50-50 on that because it's a, it's a good possibility maybe that she's still alive. Maybe this, you know, organization, possibly they could be doing something with the Beastmen, like testing something on them, using them for something else, because there's something else going on here that we don't know about. This is only episode three now, and you ain't gonna give me, like, a big behind thing, like, okay, here's your answer right then and there, right? But it's gotta be something. Something isn't right about this, and the fact is that both of these um, doctors were just that scared of trying to be captured and everything and the fact is the one who was a chameleon was like if you if only you weren't here of course michiru has something to do with it because of the fact is she was tested her records is on that computer so i just need Rose to get that shit or at least shido maybe like or someone in the police force goes back to the hospital looks at it does some more research on there and then finds the connection of michiru and be like hey we need to talk to her about this. You remember getting anything tested or something like that? Did you have to do, like, a survey? Did you get your blood done? Something like that. And then they maybe put something in you. Because there's got to be something with it. And as of right now, we really don't know anything. So it could literally be any fucking thing as of right now. But, yeah. Go ahead and pause the video. And I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay. Episode four and three, two, one, go. I feel like working out. <laughs> Cody. Yeah, but see, the thing is, she's not a regular Tanuki, because when she extends her fucking arms, she can have, like, freaking bunny ears, so, mm. You're not a normal beastman, though.
Jesus. But as of right now, she can't, excuse me, change back. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, you're a special case. Yeah, we may not even know that till like episode twelve. <laughs> yeah, mm, may you know. Seriously, you just can't give it to her for free? I mean, damn. She has no money. Damn, you got fucked up. No, don't do that. No, no. You're not. No, he. Oh. Damn. That's fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, happy birthday.
the time. Mermaid. No. Dolphin. You're just like the anime version of Ariel. You do, don't you? That's first. Y'all ain't gonna be sick. Yeah, they mm -hmm. are. Yeah. There's gonna be a problem. I can just feel it. Mm. You want to see your family, don't you? I got a bad feeling about this.
the big tower. Let me guess, it's the pet housing. Wait. Oh, shit. You would think everybody would be mad about her being a dolphin, but, um... Here comes that shadow. Yes. I mean, if you do that, that's not going to bring Nina home. You know she'll so retaliate or some shit. Yep, something about this isn't right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everybody's a little too nice up in here, I'm just saying. Trying to fit in.
Mina. Oh. No, like you need a baseball bat. <laughs> Dumbass. Mm -mm. Don't be funny. You got to see the truth about people. I think at first, yes, but not anymore. Come on. <laughs> what if he got tested by the same people? He has to have a file on Oh my god, you made me cry. Jesus, but I mean, that was an interesting way to, like, <laughs> it's been your birthday, right? But, uh, fuck, why did you do that? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm glad they were able to go to the human, <laughs> to the other side, to the human city and everything, but, I mean, Nina really wanted it, and I'm glad she was able to go, but in a way, she got to see not how corrupted people are, but really just being trapped in a fish tank like that, oh god, she could have died. And they would have been like, oh, well, what the fuck are we supposed to do or some shit? And they, I mean, oh my god. If she would have died, mm, goddamn, I, I don't know. So now it has to be, she don't had to be tested at the same place as me to do. I'm not 100% sure on that, but come on, man. Signs seem like they're pointing to yes. The fact is that girl had pink hair and I really thought that was her friend. And in the end it wasn't. I mean, that was a big oof. So, I mean, mm, her friend has to be at the facility with the blonde, the platinum blonde hair guy is from. So, who knows? Because she could literally be anywhere. I don't think she's in on the city. I think she's somewhere else completely. She could be underground. I hate when I do that. Somewhere... 
where she has no signal to call anybody, message anyone, anything, look at the internet and stuff. But I don't know. I mean, I hope and pray still that they get to see each other again. I mean, even with the fact that Nina was showing her all these stuff that she had as treasures and one of them was an AirPod and how she instantly remembered her and her friend just listening to music together and eating macarons. Like, that was so heartwarming and sweet. Like, you almost made me cry at that moment, too. But, like, I mean, it was a really interesting episode for her birthday. And you just feel bad for her because she wants to go home. But as of right now, she can't because she needs to find the truth out. And then the fact that her mom made her a birthday cake and everything, which is so adorable. Like, uh, and she wanted to like it. But, you know, I think if she did, it would have not only sparked something, a little bit of positivity for her. But really her mom knowing that she, her mom like saying, oh my God, there's a sign. She liked it. That means she's still alive. She's somewhere out there in the world. I could possibly find my child and such and bring her back home. But I, I, as of now, like Michu just doesn't want to go back home. She wants to go back home when she's fully a human again. But the fact is that that girl literally just went angry full mode and turned herself back into human for like a couple of hours and then back into a tanuki I mean, she's like, she's an animal hybrid of so many different species because she has long arms one minute, then she has bunny ears when she can put them up and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if she turns, if she, well, no, from that ending, it seems she's going to have wings or something. So she just has like every single different type of animal inside of her. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if she like ends up turning into a damn horse. Or a snake, or like something. Who freaking knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of BNA. If you guys enjoyed it, <clears throat> please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all in a few for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.